Hi guys, I'm Mark from GSN and I'm pretty happy to be bringing you uh, the first video in a series offering uh, tips and advice on using your vinyl cutter and getting the most out of it. And uh, any vinyl cutter for that matter, any brand at all, at the end of the day, they pretty much all do the same, the same thing. Uh, why me? Well, I turned my first vinyl cutter on nearly 40 years ago, so I've seen a lot happen in the industry over the time, and um, I love it. I've, uh, I've embraced it. I've had three sign businesses now over those years, and um, GSN Direct are the largest and have been for a long time uh, seller of vinyl cutters in Australia, and we're soon to um, extend that to the US and the UK. But while I remember, the first thing you should do is subscribe. These videos are gonna be just quite short. I don't have the, the patience to do long ones and you probably don't have the attention span either, but I can assure you what I'll share with you will be worth, um, will be worth knowing. So let's cut to it. Uh, this video is probably gonna be the longest one ever because of the intro. So um, yeah, get that out of the way. Subscribe so you get the next ones. Uh, this first video is gonna start at the beginning, which is so, so crucial. You know, I look at how advanced the equipment is now over the, the last 40 years since I've, I've been in the industry. And uh, you know what, it's funny that all of this technology, it still comes back to, for me, day one, the most important component you have is your blade. Your blade is, that's it. Everything that you do is based around this. It's the blade that does the job. Without this being set up right, being the right blade, um, set at the right depth, you may as well throw all this shit out the window because this is where it all happens at this little thing. So today's video, which is gonna probably take only another 30 seconds, how high or how deep do you set the blade in the blade holder? Okay, now this applies for any machine that you have. So let's take a look. Okay, here we have a blade holder. This is a Roland style. Uh, they're all very similar and very similar functions. Uh, the silver part here will adjust how far the blade is in and out. And then this gold one will simply lock it off once we've got the distance. Now, I've already popped a blade in there, as you'll see. And what we wanna do is we wanna dial the silver section until the blade is, I can just see that. If you can see that there, it's very hard to see because you just see the tip there, that's about half a millimeter, half a credit card out. Now I'm gonna lock it off. And when you lock it off, just make sure you're not accidentally turning the silver part as well. So we just wanna lock that off. And I can see that, I don't know if you can, there we go. Just about there, that is literally half a millimeter out. Okay, that is where you want your blade. Half a millimeter, half a credit card roughly out. No further, um, that's it. Okay. Well, like I said, they're gonna be pretty short videos, but as basic as that is, that is so important because if your blade isn't set right, again, this shit may as well be just thrown, okay? So um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll pop another video up in the next couple of days. Cheers.